Anytime now. Cool, I'm just gonna get a couple moon gels for that snare. Perfect, much better. My hair looks good. Yeah, your hair looks pretty good. All right. Ready? Mm hmm. Hey there, what's going on? Welcome back to a new video. In today's episode of Hands, we're gonna be talking about stick tricks. Cool, I love stick tricks. So when it comes to the drum set, what I value most is the performance, is watching a drummer, even if it's just kick, snare, just like completely full body into expressing the raw energy, the power behind that. Uh, that's what I look for in the players that I enjoy watching and when I go to shows, if I can watch a band that, even if it's just like simple, like chording, if you're really there and you're present and you're allowing the energy and the emotion of the moment to bubble out and just overtake you. I want to be involved in that. I want to be in the pit for that. I want to be at that show. I want to be present for that kind of playing. That's my philosophy when it comes to performance. What does this have to do with stick tricks? Essentially, stick tricks to me is just one of the ways in which I can express myself in that kind of way. If it's a simple 4-4 groove, then having the ability to get my sticks up in the air or to be spinning them in some way, just kind of like it'll draw the audience, it'll draw the other musicians, it'll draw, it'll draw people into your playing a little bit more. It's more of an expression that you can bring to the kit. So let's get talking about the four stick tricks that I use. The first one we're gonna talk about is just the, is like the spiral through the fingers. It's just that right there. A lot of you guys at home, I imagine, don't need a lesson on how to do this. If you've never attempted and you wanna see like close up, basically what you're gonna do is we're gonna put the stick in between the index and middle finger, and then we're gonna kind of move. See there how like I'm moving the index and the middle finger back and forwards like that to create the spin. So get it going with the other fingers. You can kind of you can kind of throw the stick into it like that. Throw it into it, and then once it's going, you just keep it going with the index and the and the middle finger. It's like that. We've all seen this. Looks cool. A certain effect to it. The first time I did this stick trick lesson, I didn't have names for them. I've named them since. So the next one's the bicycle spoke or the bicycle. The reason why is because on the side it just looks like a bicycle spoke kind of spinning around. So so we're gonna take this concept and now we're just gonna start to move it into the other fingers but we're gonna do it by going like this okay so kind of take the hand and like this and now we're gonna spin it through the other fingers like that and we're letting the sticks momentum of it falling fall into the next digit okay i'm trying to do it super slow so you can watch in that close up here's a side view to learn this i suggest doing it how i'm doing it right now it's gonna build the strength in your fingers. You're gonna get more comfortable with the stick. As well, you're gonna to want to make sure you're letting the stick kind of fall and use its momentum to continue it through the spin. And then it creates that effect there. The bicycle. That's the first two down. The next one is we're gonna take the bicycle and we're gonna expand it into what I'm calling this time around. This time around, I'm calling it the helicopter. In the first stick trick lesson we did, you guys named this one. I had a bunch of comments that were like, that could be called the helicopter. Or maybe somebody said it is called the helicopter. It's so silly when it comes to names like that because it's just so subjective. But that being said, we're gonna call this one the helicopter. Looking back to the beginning, we started here and then we took that and put it on its side to get to here. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the hand and adjust the palm placement. We're gonna basically be performing the bicycle again, or we're gonna do it with the palm facing up, and then we're gonna switch the palm facing down to create this. So to do this slow, what we've got is we've got a bicycle with the palm facing up for the most part. So we're just doing this again. But now this time around, when we get to the pinky, we're gonna switch the hand upside down and there's gonna be this whipping motion to create the same effect with the palm facing down. You can see how my palm's facing down there. And then back through. So we'll start up top and around, around with the pinky. And this one's tough to do slow because there's gravity and nothing below to catch it. So like this, hold on. It's a lot easier to perform with three fingers too, just because instead of using the pinky to throw it around, you can get to the, the ring, which is a little bit stronger. All right, so the last one of the four that we're gonna look at is the stick toss. This one's super simple. We're gonna toss the stick like this. To learn this stick trick, the first thing you should do is this a bunch. So we're just gonna do this. We're just up, letting the stick kind of float up and down. The next movement from here is all about the index. We're gonna use the index finger really strongly, flip it, 
with the back of the stick going up, the front of the stick or the tip going down and coming around. So uh, like that, and then when you're ready, like that. So the big thing, the big movement there is that little flick with the index finger. If you find that you're getting this falling forward motion, it all is gonna come down to your index. And then when you're ready, you can get up to two just by increasing the pressure and then it just comes down to timing. Now we're gonna look at that guy played inside the kit. Just before we do, I gotta let you know about this channel's uh, partner, Drumio. Drumio is the number one destination for online drum lessons at any level. So whether you're just picking up the sticks or you're a more advanced player, I myself am still using the website to learn new concepts. It really is like a database of everything you're gonna need to learn to get to basically any level at the drums. So you can use my link, drumio.com slash Wyattstav, and you can get your first entire 30 days, so one month, completely free on the website to try out all the features it has and decide whether or not you want to continue with it. So you can check that out down in the description. So now practicing the stick toss to get it sort of moving into actual grooves at the kit, you're going to want to sort of single stroke roll, toss to toss. So it's a really good idea to take some time and get that motion down. I'll back up real quick and just mention that like when I first started playing around with stick tricks, I used to have these like these cup holders. In the cup holder, I'd have like five or six drumsticks each and I'd have one on both sides of the kit. And I was dropping sticks all over my parents' basement until the cup holders were empty. And then I'd walk around and pick up all the sticks, put them back in the holders and start practicing again. So I just say that because I don't want you guys at home watching this video and thinking to yourself like, oh man, I'll never be able to do that. It simply comes down to hours equals powers in the words of Mike Johnson. So the time you put in is gonna equal the results you get out. If you want to dedicate yourself to learning these stick tricks or any other stick tricks you see online, just put in the hours. Stay focused, try and not let yourself get discouraged. And if you are getting discouraged, just take a break and come back to the concept at a later date. Back to what I was saying, we're gonna definitely wanna get that motion down so that we can put it in the grooves. And then once we're at the point where you can play that, Then we can put it into like a kick snare idea first. So we can go like. And this can really look cool inside of all different types of grooves. If I were to take my left hand off the hi-hat, open that guy and play something like a melody on the kick drum. You can speed up the concept as well and, and leave the stick toss to the one hand. As you guys can see, there's like, there's so much creativity here. I like to, at times, like just play the left hand so that I can do tosses with the right. The stick toss is so much fun in choruses on like the crash cymbals or the ride cymbal in the center. So what that can look like is kind of similar to what we saw on the hi-hat. Or we can go up to like a high crash cymbal and get this across motion, which looks really cool. Last thing we're gonna talk about is that double toss. There's a lot of cool places we can put that. It basically, anywhere where you've got like some time before the next snare hit.
And then my most favorite place to put it in any song is where there's like a bar or two bars coming out of a section, break, something big, like a breakdown or something. So this could look like. With the double double, I just um, I just made that up because it's both hands, so double and then two doubles. I just made that up. If you're Canadian, actually Tim Hortons is in America now. You get it. <laughs> you get the idea. You okay, um, so with the double double, <laughs> it's like the cheesiest, lamest shit. <laughs> All right, with that last stick trick, I like the idea of coming out of something like you saw, and then you can use the other ones in between there to like really build up, like full body movements. It's kind of hard without like, without a song on, without like being in the performance mindset. That being said, I'll just kind of like, and then once you catch it here, and then once you catch it here, then you can like to come into something. I do that kind of thing a lot in my videos. So it's like coming out and letting the energy end and then building up to something huge and coming back and coming back in. I really like that kind of like theatrical movement. Just makes it so much more interesting to watch. I, I feel at least. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this lesson on stick tricks. If there's any questions down below, maybe we can expand on those in the future. So hit me with anything you got, anything you want to know. Those are the three stick tricks I use personally the most and they're the ones I'm most comfortable with. Lots of other artists use lots of different stick tricks. So I encourage you, if you're interested in that style or if you've got some stick tricks on your own that you're trying to like, I guess, tighten up, look around, get some influence from as many places as possible. Possible. whatever really speaks to you whatever like really grabs your attention and grabs hold of you and you can feel in your gut follow that that'd be my advice and then practice 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 thanks for checking out this video thank you to my partner drumeo drumeo.com slash stav get the first 30 days free over there and thank you to you guys for checking out this video i will see you all very soon with something new